Hi everyone, I'm Tom and today I'm going to be playing Arcosa, which is a game of bunker building, resource gathering, colonist recruitment. Basically, there is a planet called Arcosa. We thought it would be great here, but it's turned out to be not so good. There are a lot of nasty things waiting for us here. So we know a mining ship is on the way and there's room for one colony on that ship. They're going to take the colony with the highest reputation, basically. So it's our job to make our colonies and bunkers the best they can be while we still can. I'm playing a two-player game today against Little Glass Marty. Before I get started, there is a Klingon subtitle channel. If you turn that on, you'll get notified of any mistakes I might have made. There is a Patreon where you can help support the channel. And thank you very much to everyone that does that. It's linked in the description. This is on Kickstarter right now. I'll put a link to the campaign page in the description. You can go there and see what all the final stuff will look like. So this is Arcosa. This is where we're going to be coming to perform all of our actions, recruit new people, build new rooms and stuff. Well, let's take a look at my player board to start with. Now you see the B's on everything. You can use the A sides that are you know, simpler of and identical. You know, you start with the same things on your bunkers and you don't have to worry about special abilities of your leaders and stuff. Uh, but I've chosen the B sides. We've got Apollo here, who is my colony leader. Uh, he's Gives me some particular starting resources. I can start with two morale. I've got a special trade action that I can do. And then my bunker itself came with a space bar. Later on in the round, after we've done all of our actions and stuff, uh, we produce things in our rooms. The space bar will produce me some morale, and we need morale for trying times like these. Neutropods will get me some food. At the end of every round, you do need to feed your colonists, so that's going to be very important, and it's important for loads of things. And the vault is a special building I chose, and this is going to protect me from some of the nastier things that raid events can do to us. I'm still going to get punished in some ways, but in rounds two and three, I am going to get let off the hook a little bit because of that room. I also have these four starting colonists that were drafted just from the A deck. So it's important to say, actually, there was one more thing I should have said right from the top. As with all of my Kickstarter videos, uh, it's a prototype. It should give you an excellent idea of what the final thing will look like, because this is a pretty impressive prototype. But, you know, it's uh, you know stickered components and the art isn't quite finished on all of the cards. But again, check out the campaign page and see what all of the final things will look like. Yeah, I've got my four starting aliens that were drafted from the A deck. There were some points if I've got them still at the end of the game. And we're going to do some actions with them, basically. So each turn you get two actions from these options. Put a colonist to work. Play a colonist to either do things on them. Uh, so you can go exploring that we'll see out on the board. Or you could just use them to get two food. Or this one would get me one morale. Same as uh, Sylvan Roan over here. Could get me two nitrogen, two food. Or you could go exploring, choose one of these options. You could build a room. There are rooms on display at the bottom of the board here. Shows you the costs of them, how many points they're going to be worth at the end, and what they do. You can make a trade, which is down in this section. These are all the options that you've got. So trading nitrogen for food or vice versa, as long as an option is here. And also ways of getting scrap and mag tape and stuff that's gonna be important for rooms. So they all want scrap and mag tape. And finally, draw a Dr. Sawbones card. Our oh, colonists are going to get injured. That is a way of trying to heal them. You can make a bribe. Now we'll see those in round two, but they're basically ways of turning in resources for points at the end of the game. But it's a risk. If you don't manage to do it, you'll lose some points. So I think, oh, we can actually see it all from this shot. I would like to get some healing. I really like the look of uh, Debbie Wardson here with some good points, can do a bit of exploring. I can get some nitrogen, but also I could get some healing. So if I'm worried about getting injured and it's going to happen, uh, then uh, I might want to uh, grab a colonist that can help me out with that. So we can see on the drop location here that I need to get to, which kind of backpack the card needs to have. So I couldn't go to the drop. I couldn't go you know, this far out with say this colonist or this colonist. There is also a cost to go here. It's a nitrogen and a food. So I could just go there with this card, but if I play this card, then I can get a discount of one nitrogen. The trouble is, uh, you might want to save that because places like the Hostile Plane and Wanderer's Path, you can only get to with this uh, special red backpack. So I think for now, I've got a lot of resources. I'm just going to go and I'm keep on keeping hold of that red backpack. 
I'm going to go exploring. So first of all, state my intentions. I'm going to go to the drop. Then we need to move the exploration marker this many spaces. And if it lands on something, I am going to trigger it. So it might be, you know, I'm going to get an event now. It might be that I would want to try and go to just the new colony network, the one location. And it would be nice. You know, that is a, it's a red backpack. It's a really good exploring backpack. And then you just move one space and then hopefully Marty would run into the event and I can skip past it next time. But I really want that healing. So green means it's a low risk event. So I'm going to move two spaces here and I need to draw a low risk event. So these have a 50% chance of being positive. So let's see what we've got. You meet all sorts out and about, Arcosa, like this friendly, if a little suspicious, furry alien. Its long, greedy hands move about its body hypnotically, like a magician distracting you from the truth of their tricks. He would like to play a game with you, one of chance. He's willing to double any amount of resource you have on a 50-50 bet, but lose, and he'll take your stake. Okay, so a mysterious stranger offers a gambit. Choose one of the following. Option A, declare the resources you are gambling, one type of resource only, and then roll the numbered die. Roll a 1, 2, or 3 and lose your stake. Roll a 4, 5, or 6 and double your stake. Or decline the stranger's offer. Well, we've got to go for it, haven't we? So just one type of resource. Do we go big? I've got ways of getting more food. Ooh, let's, let's go big early. I am going to gamble three food here. So numbered die. And what do I want? A four, five, or six? Come on, look. Six, brilliant. So I get three more food. Okay, and that's my event. It was a good thing, as it turned out. So now we pay for the place I want to go because you're allowed to change your mind now. Uh, you can go to any other place that's got the same or lower exploration cost because maybe you've lost some resources. Maybe things have changed now that you've seen the event and you want to go somewhere else instead. It hasn't. I still want to go to the drop, so I need to pay the nitrogen and the food. And then I recruit Debbie here, goes into my hand, and then the colonist that I used goes to the resting side of my board. The other side is injured. You'll get the rested ones at the end of the round, but the injured ones you're going to have to heal if you want them back. I recruited a colonist, so we need to move colonists along the path so they get a bit more available and then draw new ones to replace them. Now I've got a lot of resources. I think I would like to go exploring again. I am going to go off to Sanctuary Prime. So Sanctuary Prime is a great place basically to start building your rooms. It gives you mag tape and scrap that you need to build rooms and it gives you energy as well that you need to activate your room. Uh, so the, the beauty of it also is that it's three spaces away. So We've got the right backpack, we can go there. So I'm going to Sanctuary Prime. We need to move one, two, three spaces. And would you look at that, no event. So there's medium risk events about, but Marty, if he did a three location, could get a point. A reputation, which is points. So I get a discount of a nitrogen. So I still have to pay a nitrogen and two food, but I get myself an energy and two mag tape and a scrap. So I could start thinking about now the rooms down here. Because I didn't start off with any scrap. I could get, say, the, the Nutripods, get me some more food. I need some more scrap for the others, but like the Sustenance Synergizer here, two mag tape and three scrap. It's worth four points and gets you four food. Okay, that's my two actions, so let's go on to Marty. Marty's got a bit more of a cohesive thing. He is very good at producing nitrogen, and he's got the transmogrifier here, which is going to let him switch nitrogen to food and vice versa as many times as he likes when the room activates, basically. Marty's first thing is going to be to build a room because he started with mag tape and scrap. And he's kind of looking here. Now, you build rooms from top to bottom. There's got to be something above the room that you are building. And he's got spaces here. If he builds a science room there, he'll get an extra nitrogen in addition to what it normally does. And we can see on the bottom of the board here, this catalyst chamber can produce three nitrogen. So that could be four nitrogen. <gasps> oh, what about the shard consolidator though? Could get him an energy, would really help in just building more rooms if you can just produce more energy. He would need a scrap first though. So where can he go to get some scrap? 
He could just go to the factory. You know, there's no exploration cost there. But you roll a die where you could get injured or you could gain everything you ever dreamed. I think, do you know what? Marty's going to go to Sanctuary Prime again. Now, he's got Buff here. who <laughs> is very good at exploring, but will always injure himself. Uh, so, he's got the right backpack. It's going to be three on the exploration. One, two, three, which gives Marty a reputation point. So, he is in the lead right now. He gets a disc out of a nitrogen and a food, but he is going to be going on the injured side. Uh, so he only has to pay one nitrogen, one food, and gets two mag tape and a scrap. And then he has enough. He is going to buy this shard consolidator for his second action. So it's going to be one mag tape, three scrap. That's all of his scrap gone already. And then the shard consolidator could come down here. Now he could gain two nitrogen for popping it there, but he is going to put it here because this is now going to produce an N Oh, he also gains an energy, doesn't he, from the Sanctuary Prime. Uh, we're going to pop this there because he is going to produce an energy at the end of the round as well. Back to me. And what do I want to do? I'm going to do some more exploring. I have got resources. Oh, we need two. Refill the rooms from the bag, which only has A rooms in it at the moment. So this has got a bionic workshop where you can produce... Oh, I don't have enough scrap yet, but you could produce mag tape and scrap. Make it easier to... Another way of making it easier to build more rooms. I kind of want happiness rooms for my bunker, but none have come out yet. I'm sure they will. Now, the trouble is exploration... One puts me at a high risk event, which is a good chance of something bad happening. Two puts me in a raid event. But it might just do so it might do something bad to Marty or all of us. It's happening either way. You have to stop on the raid event. I think I need some scrap. I am going to be going to the research outpost. Do I oh no, I don't have a backpack that can go up there. Never mind, I'm not. So I could go to the factory and try and get the scrap. Or we just recruit him and then go get the scrap with him. But then I've got to have the high risk event and the raid event. But why don't we, for the first action, I've got loads of resources. Let's do some trades. You can do any of these trades. So two scrap to clear the display of rooms. Now each type of trade is an action. So I think I'm gonna do three nitrogen into three scrap, just so I've got some for the future. And then my second action is going to be we're going to build the bionic workshop. That's going to be two mag tape, two scrap, which I've got no problem. And then we're going to pop that over here so I can get myself an extra scrap. And I've got energy to spare to power that room. And didn't use any colonists there. Marty, oh, we need a new room from the bag. And it's going to be another space bar like I've got in my bunker. Oh, I want, ooh, I could get loads of morale by building that. And Marty knows it. And it's free. It is taking up a space. Do you know what? I think Marty's first action is going to be to build a room. And that's going to give him two nitrogen, which he was running low on. He's already got the energy to power it. We need a new one from the bag. And that's going to be... A shard consolidator, so what Marty built earlier, which he could build again. He needs three scrap, though, because he could pop it in this space and it would also produce loads of nitrogen for him. But we've got to move sooner or later. Marty is going to explore. Yeah, he's going to explore the drop. He wants this colonist because uh, even more morale. So he's saying the drop. It's going to be two spaces on the exploration track, which means it's time for a raid event, which are tamer in round one. Evil electricity. That's some impressive service your shards are giving off. Guess who else is impressed? You've got it. The hostiles are drawn to your power proficiency like a giant ravenous moth to a flamethrower. The player with the most active power shards, well, thanks to Marty doing that room, it's him. Uh, in round one, deactivate two of them. So Marty now going to have to choose two rooms to the X-Face. I think that one and gaining a single food. So they're not going to happen unless he gains some energy and puts it in there or has some abilities like one of my starting colonists actually has the ability to reactivate two power shards. Oh, actually, 
in your supply counts as well. So I think we are both as evil as each other. So I've got to deactivate two as well, but it's not so bad for me because, well, that doesn't have effect till round two. And we'll do the bionic workshop for now, but I could just reactivate both of those with my card. So we've had the raid events. Marty gets a discount of a nitrogen, so he has to pay a food still. And they are tired. He grabs Multi Marty. And then the road slides down. And we see a new A colonist there, a very good explorer. Kind of an upgraded beef. Now, for me, I want this sustenance synergizer. That's four food coming in from there. I need, I've got the three scrap. I need one mag tape to be able to get it because it would also activate a bonus and then i'm very close to the three point space so i could trade again it is a whole action just to get that i think i'm gonna do it food and a nitrogen i'm just gonna get one though because i don't want to leave myself without enough food and nitrogen. every every two people need a food and a nitrogen or you lose a morale so i'm just getting the one and then I have enough for this sustenance synergizer. It's worth four points as well, but it can go over to my special bonus space here. So it will produce extra because it's the right type. Pay two mag tape and three scrap. And that's all of my building materials gone. I already have an energy for it that's good. And that's my turn. Marty got plenty of ways he could afford not to feed people because he can potentially make his morale so high. His first action, he's going to play Hanzi, who is a special colonist because you can pick two of these options for his one action. So Marty's going to pick two morale. So he's going to go up. He started at zero because of his starting colonist. One, two. Now you can't share the same space in Arcosa. When you go up to two, he moves me down. And then his other option, I think, is going to be... He's got less food, so he's going to gain a food. So that's one, and he's exhausted. Oh, we need a new room, don't we? An aphid farm. Now, Marty's second action. He wants his power back. He's going to use his special trade. This is once per round that he can do this. It's a food and a nitrogen. Things that he just got because he needed them. Uh, to get an energy, he's going to reactivate the space bar, I think. Okay, back to me and I've still got some cards. I am going to, yeah, I'm going to flip my power so it's back on. I don't technically need this one. Actually, the vault doesn't matter if it's powered either. We might as well. It's, it's a free one to deactivate, isn't it, if I need to. And then my second action, I've got no one to heal still. Should we go for a little explore? I've got... so. I'm near the max, aren't I? The max is six colonists. I might as well try and get a colonist because I've got just enough resources to feed all of them. Oh, and that's a reason not to recruit any because it would always it would cost me resources. I could just try and gain some resources at the factory or I pay that nitrogen and then I can earn the nitrogen back with my doctor and then use the person. Yeah, let's do that. We can recruit. We'll go to the new colony network for my second action. Uh, so move one space, nothing happens. This is just, we roll a die at the start of the game to see where the token is going to start, and I rolled a five. Uh, so this space doesn't do anything after the setup. And uh, I have to pay a nitrogen, and we are going to recruit Marja there. So I'm a nitrogen short. That's two actions. Marty is also, I think, two, three, four, five. Yes, he's one off his limit. But he needs some more food. He could do... He did want to do morale, but he could grab two food from Multi Marty, and he could go exploring the crash site if he wanted to. No, he wants some morale. He's just going to put up with the Nutripods being unpowered for now. He wants to get two more morale. So get some points for that. Back to me. I've still got some colonists as well. Hmm. I can get one morale. It is worth some points. Oh, I, we haven't done the... People on the road, have we? I don't necessarily want to recruit a new person just yet. No, I'm going to go for one morale and two nitrogen. So I've got the resources that I need. And I think we're both passing. So now, rations. And this is optional. You can just take the unhappiness if you want. Well, I've got six people, so I need to pay three and three, which I can and will do. 
Marty's got five people. So he still needs to pay three and three. And he's going to do it as well because he would like to keep up his uh, well-earned morale. Then it's morale points and points based on your position here. Marty's going to get four. I just get two. Then room production. So in my rooms, I get another morale. Doesn't help me now, but maybe it will uh, next round. And then I get two, six, seven food. Thanks to those two rooms. I get a mag tape and a scrap thanks to the bionic workshop. And then the vault doesn't do anything for me yet, but it will start to have an effect, I think. Marty is going to get two nitrogen there. Oh, and another one for the shard consolidator. He gets a shard. And he could swap some of this for food if he wants to. I think... No, he's not going to. Uh, and he gets a morale. So he is at the max now. Whenever he gains morale now, he gets reputation points instead. And then rest colonists, everyone that's on the left side of the board, comes back down. So maybe Marty should have done a Sawbones, but he only... He could do one now. Oh, and actually, you can choose to put a Power Shard in at any time and activate your rooms in any order. So Marty would just put that straight in there. The broken one is discarded, just so he has another food. Why not? Okay, then. Preparation for round two. We remove all of the colonists from the game now. And I think this is going to be the end of the A colonists. Then we need to see the B colonists. They fill up the road now. I expect the better. All the B rooms go into the bag and get shaken up all nice. And then we remove this from the game and slide them all along and we get another one out here which is it's an A still the Nitro Nebulizer a load of nitrogen we remove anything from here and pop in shows you round two two food two nitrogen this is all you're allowed to trade with with this particular action the resources that are in this box and then we're going to need some space for some bribes let's get these out of the way because we need six bribe cards. So for an action, and it can only be one of your two actions, you can take a bribe. That means you are gonna pay these resources at the end of the game to get these points. If you don't do it, you'll lose those points. That is it for the bribe cards. They are gone. They are the only six available. Okay, Marty is now gonna be our first player and let's see what he wants to do. I think Marty is gonna start out with a little explore. This is risky. He's going to go for it. Combustible Joe is worth six points, but is very dangerous. Yeah, he's going to go to the new colony network. So the Explorer track, just one space. He needs to pay a nitrogen, which he can do. And then Vanti is exhausted. He gets Combustible Joe in his place. And he's going to try and use Combustible Joe right now for three morale. So that is just one, two, three points. He's on 28 points. But whenever you use Combustible Joe, you roll the die on a one and two, he explodes and you lose two morale. He's okay. So nothing happens and he's just resting as well. We need to slide everything down on the road, don't we? And then a new bee colonist comes out. I will mention as well, I'm playing a harmony variant where certain cards that steal things and mess around with your opponents a few colonists and a couple of rooms have been taken out of the game. We need a new guy on the road. And over to me. My turn. No one's injured yet. So let's get exploring and risk injuring some people. I think I would like... I've got not, not got much nitrogen at all, have I? I could do with this nebulizer. I could go to the research outpost. Yeah, I need a blue backpack for that. So, yeah. Come on, Sylvan. We're going to go up there. Doesn't get me any discounts, unfortunately. Two spaces is going to be a green event. That green event is going to be... Across the dunes, you make out the sound of Arcosa's greatest musician, Blowpipe Bob. You find him atop a rock, surrounded by the clicking, menacing hostiles of the desert. Blob is, Bob is blowing his pipes with gusto, which has the crabby crowd in a trance. It looks like he will be dinner as soon as he stops playing, though. He needs rescuing, and every colony owes it to Bob. 
all players. Rescue a friend in danger. Choose one of the following. Either injure a colonist who can explore, can be in your hand or resting, or lose two reputation. Individual decisions. I think I am going to injure... Yeah, let's injure, injure Zardia there, because I've got my uh, Dr. Debbie here. Marty is going to choose to injure his explorer that's already explored, his resting explorer. So he needs to do a Sawbones action, I think, at some point. Okay, so again, not too bad an event, but it is the, it's the low risk event. So I was going to the research outpost, wasn't I? Spending a nitrogen and a food to get myself a mag tape and two scrap. I want some rooms. Which rooms do I want? Well, I want the Nitro Nebulizer. I don't want to be short on nitrogen again like this. One, two, three. And yeah, we haven't got an orange room yet. I'm just going to pop it down here where I get three points for it. I haven't got a energy to power it yet. So I haven't got an orange room for all these bonuses yet. I can put other rooms there. I just won't get the bonus. So I'm, I'm hoping they come out. I haven't got an energy to power this yet, but you know, it's coming up. That's my two actions. Marty, Marty's going to explore the new colony network. So that's going to be one space, gain a morale, so Marty gains a point because he's at the top still. He is going to recruit Zarvis here. Oh, what, what, where is he on the limit? I think he's on six, isn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, yes. Okay, so he is using him. He's got a nitrogen discount, so he doesn't have to pay anything. But now... So always comes into Marty's hand, and you check after you've done two actions. So he might do something else. But yeah, he's going to have to get rid of someone. I think it's going to be buff. But if you get rid of an injured colonist, that's bad. He's going to do a trade for his other action. He's going to come over here. He's going to do a couple of Sawbones cards, I think. He's going to start out with one. Uh, you draw a Sawbones and see what it says. He, Dr. Sawbones is in fine form. Not only does he heal your colonist, but he also gives you a bunch of colourful looking partially digested drugs. Looks like you can heal one additional colonist. Thanks, Dr. Sawbones. Heal two colonists. So when they're healed, they go from injured to resting. So you don't get them for this round, but that's going to make it not so harsh when Marty has to get rid of someone now. Uh, he's going to choose to get rid of Buff because one of the reasons that he took Zarvis here, Zarvis is worth two points for every entertainer. And if we look at Marty's colonists right now, they might change in the future, but every single one of them has entertainer on, which means he's worth the maximum 12 points because you can have six colonists. So he's got to exile Buff. Unfortunately, he's, he's not injured. If he was injured, you would lose a morale and a reputation. But as it is, he loses a morale for doing that. And that's his two actions. To me, I would like someone else to be injured so I can get a benefit from it. I would like to gain a morale now, so I would swap with Marty. Oh, but first, we need to move the road along. You know what? I'm going to explore for my first action. Let's just explore here so I don't have to pay for the new colony network. I am going to take a medium risk event, though, which I'm not too happy about. That's going to be Arcosa's own brand of unicorn, the little furry blue ball of Nerfel can be a fortuitous sight or make your day even worse than an average out in the sandy wastes. You wonder why most people think them a lucky find, since they usually expect some kind of tribute for just being, well, blue and furry. You happen upon a trio of these aliens, looking either troubled and sad or indignant and expectant. Well, do you really want to be the first Arcosan to upset three Nerfles all at once? Your explorer finds a group of Nerfles in need. Choose one of the following. Lose a food, lose two food and gain two reputation, lose a reputation. Do you know what? I've got six food right now. I'm going to lose two food and gain two reputation because I need to catch up to Marty. And it's free because of who I explored with. I'm going to gain myself Judah here, five points, and I'm probably going to use them in my second action, am I going to? To get three nitrogen since I've got none. Yes, I think I'm going to. Oh, I've, yes, and I'm going to have to exile someone. Actually, say I explored with him. It's the same benefit, although he can heal as well. He can raise morale as well. But yeah, I'm just going to exile someone. I'd rather exile someone that's resting. Yeah, second action is going to be to gain three nitrogen. And I need to exile someone because now I've got seven people. I'll exile the one that's just worth one point, which does lose me a morale. Marty, oh, well, he is going to gain a food and gain two morale because one morale, two is another point. And then a food 
brings him up to the grand total of two. That's definitely one action, and it's very tempting that my my just wants to get morale again. He's gonna gain two morale. He's not built anything though. Two morale is two points. He's got thirty-two now. Over to me, slow and steady. I want to recruit. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to use Jimmy here. I am gonna recruit Betraya Parte, which is gonna cost me a food because he gives a nitrogen discount, which is not what I need. I'm gonna to have to get some nitrogen from somewhere in a minute. Uh, but then I'm over my limit. But you check after you've done your two actions. I'm gonna do Betraya's special thing. She is a special alien. She can throw a party for two nitrogen. She can gain me five morale. So one, two. Three, four, five, so that's two points. But then Petraea is gone with no penalty to me. She's done her party and left. That's what she's there for. Over to Marty. He definitely wants to swing that back around to himself. Let's see, he needs another food if he's going to feed all of his people without losing morale. Do you know what? He's going to have to try then. He's going to go to the factory. So no exploration cost here at all. Oh, did I? I didn't move the exploration mod, did I? One, two. I wanted to do three so I would reset the rooms and try and get a happiness one, but I forgot that that was my plan still. I might get to do it. I want orange rooms. They're not coming out. Marty's going to the factory. No exploration cost here, but he might just injure his explorer and you know, might not get any food. So he gets, oh dear, injure his explorer, the very thing <laughs> that he was hoping not to get. Oh well, it's the risk that he took. So now. Does he want to do an action? Do you know what? He is going to make a bribe because we haven't done it yet, have we? He is going to promise that he can deliver a shard, a nitrogen, and a scrap by the end of the game. And I think he can do that. He does produce a shard. And he's not building any rooms for some reason. Back to me. I could heal my person, but I need nitrogen. Yeah, I would like... And that does reactivate shards. I would like two nitrogen, but it is tempting to swap a three-point person for a six-point person. Oh, but then I'm short on nitrogen again. Okay, well, I'm just going to gain... I'm just going to gain two food then. Oh, but I haven't got an energy. Uh, I want to gain all of that nitrogen. Yeah, we're going to go exploring. It's going to be one space, which is going to clear out all of the rooms. Which is good, because I don't want to see these. And here we go. The VR suite gives you three morale. I don't have any scrap for it this round, but I will be first player next round if we're passing them. Uh, so, yeah, that was the one space for that. And I need to pay, so I'm going to be short nitrogen and food to get myself an energy. But I think it's going to be worth it because that's going to generate for me for nitrogen. Okay, I think we're both passed. So... Rations. Marty can only feed two. Yeah, he's first player. Marty can only feed two. And so loses a morale. Same for me. I am going to pay. I lose morale as well. We don't actually cross over, so it didn't matter the order of it. Then morale points. I get four. Marty gets three. Then room production. Let's do Marty's. Same player order. He gets three nitrogen, a shard, a food, a morale. So he knocks me down and he can swap nitrogen and food. It's not very much stuff, is it? It's all still. He needs to get building some buildings. Although his reputation, it, it might not be the fanciest bunker, but he's leading in reputation by five points. My production, though, should set me up for the last round, I think. So the space bar. It is going to be one morale for me, which swaps us around. And then two, seven, two, six, seven food, a mag tape and a scrap. Four nitrogen and my vault protection. OK, that's decent. And then finally, rest colonists. I have an injured one. So has Marty. Oh, yeah, because he took the risk going to the factory, didn't he? I was thinking, how did he get injured? Okay, I am the first player for this final round. This colonist is removed from the game, and we slide down and get a new one there. 
the room at the end is discarded. I'm really glad that wasn't the VR suite. And we need a new one out of the bag, a little nitro generator. And then we remove everything from the trade pool and it's gonna be three nitrogen, three food in there. Okay then, so what's the plan? What am I doing? I'm decent on morale, so I'd like to earn a couple, but I haven't got anyone that helps me with that. I probably want to get some new colonists. Got a blue backpack there. I haven't particularly got anyone, you know, scoring for loads of scientists. I haven't particularly got anyone amazing at that. Maybe I just want to build some stuff. I need another scrap, basically, to go and build the VR suite while it's out there. Let's make that the priority. So I need a scrap. How are we going to get it? Either the Research Outpost or the Sanctuary Prime. If we're getting another room, let's go to Sanctuary Prime. I'm going to go. Yeah, it's going to be good old Jimmy. It's going to take us there with his one nitrogen discount. So that's three spaces. Let's think about this. Let's not. Let's not. Let's go to the Research Outpost because look at the exploration track. One, two, three spaces is a high risk event. One, two spaces is a free shard. The whole reason I'm going to Sanctuary Prime. So let's just go two spaces, get me a nice shard and no events. And then free nitrogen, I have to pay the food. And that gives me a mag tape and two scrap. And then for my second action, I can build that VR suite. So it's going to cost me mag tape to scrap. It's going in this section. It's getting a shard on it and we're going for it. So yeah, that's my two actions, isn't it, Marty? Loads of morale opportunities. Is he going to use Combustible Joe? Do you know what? Oh, we need a new room. Let's, before he decides on anything, let's see what the new room is. Is he going to get five? He needs some scrap as well. A storage bay, nice and cheap. He wants to produce food, really, but he can swap nitrogen for food. He wants this catalyst chamber. Okay, how is he going to go about that? He needs... Two scrap, he's got mag tape and no scrap. So I think in the same way, he needs to go to that research outpost. And he hasn't got food, but he hasn't got a food discount either. He's going to go with Arbel. Yeah, he's going to go, oh, two spaces is the raid event, but it's just going to have to be done. And he can change his mind if it's terrible. Okay, the raid event for round two. Promises, promises. I'm pretty sure the expected saviors are merely galactic Samaritans, not gods. Perhaps your worship and payola should have been focused on appeasing Arcosa instead. She answered anyway, and the answer is hostile. The player with the most bribes. That's Marty. It's the only one that's taken one. Okay, my neglect of bribes has worked out for me. In round two, so from, if this had been me, because I've got the vault, or if it was round one, injure a colonist and deactivate a shard. If in round two or three, lose two morale, deactivate a power shard, and injure a colonist. Oh no. That means he's lost a turn, basically. Oh dear. And then he will turn off the just get one food. It's the least useful of his rooms. Oh no. But still, he's at the research outpost. Discount of a nitrogen still has to pay a food. Gets himself mag tape. Scrap, scrap. And then for his second action... He is going to build that catalyst chamber. It's three points, and it will really help with uh, his bonus there. It will work out quite nicely. I've got five nitrogen, which he can turn into food. Too late to feed people with, but still. Uh, and yeah, he needs to pay mag tape, scrap, scrap. That's his two actions. For me, let's get a bribe. Let's stop neglecting the bribes. I am really good at producing a lot of stuff. I'm going to be able to produce... What's that? A scrap of food and a... Oh, a scrap, three food and three nitrogen. I can produce that from my things here. That's eight points. I need to get a scrap and remember not to spend it. That's one of my actions. My second action then... Should we go get some scrap? I haven't got a discount for any of the things. Two spaces is a low-risk event. Yeah, what do we need? Blue blue jacket. Yeah, let's go up there. So that's two spaces. One, two. Low risk event is going to be Electro Pile Driver. 
When building a room, reduce the cost of that room by one mag tape. Discard when used. That's nice. Okay. That's good. Right, so no discount. Uh, nitrogen and a food. Get myself mag tape to scrap. I'm going to put a scrap on the bribe so I remember not to spend it. Oh, and we should. Is that one action from me? Yeah, it's just the one so far, isn't it? We need to restock the rooms. Maybe I can afford something I would just like to build. The Meteoric Museum gets you three reputation. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay, that would cost me everything, including the scrap I said I was keeping, but that's worth five points as a room. Yeah, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Three points. When it activates, it would have been great if it had come out earlier. I need a shard still, but I think all that's doable. I'm just going into it. Two mag tape, three scrap. Remember I said I wasn't going to spend any of that scrap? Oh, forget that. Okay, that's me then. Oh, and I can reduce the cost uh, by one mag tape. So let's keep hold of a mag tape and get rid of this card. Marty, is he going to use Combustible Joe? Well, probably for resources this time rather than morale. Let's see. Oh, we need a new room. He wants scrap again, doesn't he, to build rooms. The Galactic Gallery is just worth two points, but you need less stuff for it. That's three scrap to build that and a mag tape. Do you know what? He's going to come and see Sawbones again for his first action. So let's draw a card. Uh, Dr. Sawbones is feeling creative. Your colonist is fully healed and now has four additional arms purely for the purpose of dishing out hugs. What fun. Thanks, Dr. Sawbones. Heal a colonist. So Marty is going to heal. He wants both healing eventually and gain a morale. That's okay. And then he's only got nitrogen, so it's going to have to be another nitrogen for another trip to Dr. Sawbones because the same type of trade. Oh dear. The doctor has a lot of patience to see. It's a little bit shady, but you offer him your last flask of super moonshine to allow your colonists to jump the queue. He gets the job done, but your dodgy dealings don't go unnoticed. Naughty Dr. Sawbones. Heal a colonist and lose a reputation. Okay. So that's a trade action. And then his second action is going to be... Oh, it's really bad if he loses Combustible Joe, isn't it? He's going to risk it. One, two, three. And then the number die. Come on. Oh, it's a two. He loses Combustible Joe. It's the risk he took, though. He could have just not used him and passed. Six points, a plus two for every entertainer. Eight points lost. He needs to get an entertainer now before he leaves. There's a six point entertainer right there. Okay. It's recoverable. And he still gained one, two points effectively because he gained a morale. No, I don't, I don't know if he's gained anything from doing that. Okay, that's his two actions anyway. Uh, time for me. I don't need to reactivate any shards. Nothing bad's happened to me, has it? I haven't really been exploring as much, though, as I usually would. Okay. Do we want new people in here? I want power, don't I? I need a shard. So I can go to the crash site. Sanctuary Prime, and that would get me the shard that I need. I'm potentially running out of resources to feed people with then, though. We'll make up for it. Yeah, I can gain nitrogen from the Doctor. And maybe I'll just have to do a Sawbones action to heal. Right, we're going to go four. Yeah, explore with him. Three spaces. Oh, and that gains me a scrap. Yes, even better. There's the scrap that I needed. So I don't need to come here anymore. Do I want to go somewhere else now? I would gain a scrap to build another building. And then it's all it's all stuff that's activating, isn't it? Yeah, let's go for it. Uh, so we're going to go for no discount. So that's two nitrogen, two food to get a shard. It's going straight on my meteoric museum. Two mag tape and a scrap. And then action two is going to be to gain two food. It's not exciting, but I think it's necessary. Marty is going to go exploring. Oh, exploring is very risky, though. He's got no food. Okay, first he's going to have to do Hansi. He's going to gain two morale first. Oh, he's going to have no food for his. to feed any of his people, though. Oh, we'll have this person to use. He'll gain a food and a nitrogen. Or just gain the morale because that's the same as not feeding two people, isn't it? He'll gain a food because he needs it for the cost of the action. And then he'll gain two morale. 
and it knocks me down one as well because he does two things. And then exploring is going to have to be with Multi Marty. Two spaces. So on here, it's rolling this dice, but it's a bad thing. Okay, so it's going to be mag tape. So he loses a mag tape. Not too bad. He doesn't need it. Then the action costs him a food and he is going to recruit. The road shifts down and we see another person. Three morale. I can't explore all the way up there. So finally for me, I am two nitrogen short. So yeah, we're going to gain two nitrogen. I'm producing four nitrogen. So I'm going to have a nitrogen spare. That's not good enough for any of these bribes. I'm spending three food, but I produce seven. So I could get the one that just gives out food. Yeah. That's my two actions. Marty. Now he's not going to be able to feed anyone at this rate. Oh, and he need. Oh, he hasn't done any of his stuff. He's going to lose six points for this. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's going to, he's going to produce a shard. He'll produce a nitrogen. He won't produce a scrap. So can he get a scrap? Yes, with trading. He's going to gain two morale from here, which is two points because he's at the top. And then he's going to gain this bribe. I think for me, I need or I want to do a sawbones. And I've got more food than I need. So let's do a food for a Dr. Sawbones. And it's going to be, uh oh, this isn't the best work from the good doctor. Did he really need to attach that fart machine to your colonist's back? That's really going to stink up your bunker. Silly Dr. Sawbones. Heal a colonist and lose a morale. Okay. So we can recover from that. I think are the room's going to clinch it for me. Marty needs to get a room there. So my second action, I don't have any power. You know what? The storage bay is worth two points. I'm just going to build the storage bay for its one scrap. So I can't go and get a power shard. It is on the factory, but I can't, I can't explore there. We actually finished exploring, haven't we? Okay, so a new room comes out, another storage bay. I think this works out better. Marty is going to swap a nitrogen for a scrap because he already can't feed his people. He's going to swap both nitrogen for scrap with this trade action for trade action number one. He's going to build a storage bay for action number two. That's going to be worth two points plus three for covering that space up because the rooms don't have to be powered to score. Back to me. The space bar has come out. I'm full up. I can overbuild. I don't need these neutropods. I'm going to overbuild with the space bar because it's worth a point. I could override my other space bar and hopefully going over the top of morale is going to be worth points. I think I've got this. I think. Although colonists might make a difference. Another space bar's come out, and I'm just going to build the other space bar, because that's worth a point, and the one I've got isn't. Heal someone, a med lab. Okay, Marty then has got two mag tape, two scrap. Could he build something good? I think the med lab, mag tape, and a scrap is the best that he can do. And then he could build something that costs one scrap, yeah. Oh, perfect. Just a load of meaningless building at the very end. Shisha spar. You can't double the shisha spar, because down here... This production bonus is double your stuff. This side is get some points, but this side is uh, double your bonuses. Turn nitrogen into happiness. That would have been fantastic earlier on. Way too late for that, though. He's just going to grab a nitro generator for a point. Actually, is, does he need that scrap? Oh, I th oh, he doesn't want to build anything, does he? Has he got to put both of these back? Because he's not producing any scrap, and he needs two for here. So that's it, isn't it? He's got to stop. Okay, Marty is just going to pass because he needs the scrap for his bribes. I think I'm passing. I've got no scrap. I could get one. I could get a med lab with three points instead of like my vault. Yeah, why not? I'll swap that for a scrap and then spend a mag tape and a scrap to build that med lab because that's worth three points instead of the vault that's worth nothing. Okay then, so rations. I can pay three and three. Marty can't pay any one, two, three. Pushes me up on morale. Then morale points, it's three for me, two for Marty. Room production is me first. So I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight morale. One, two, and then six points. 
plus three points for my museum. Then it's a mag tape and a scrap. I don't need that scrap. I produce it. Oh. Uh, I can heal someone and get a nitrogen. I get five food, four nitrogen, and I don't get the, the scrap from there. Marty gets his two nitrogen, which I'll put on his card there. Does not get that food. Gets a shard, which goes on that nitrogen rocket, and a nitrogen, which can provide that. And then five nitrogen. A morale, and he can swap nitrogen for food. He'll do two. Why not? Doesn't need any more than that for his survival kit. And then, yeah, that's all the production. So there's the non injured people, and we do end game scoring. So there's one point in it right now. I think Marty's got better points on colonists. So I've definitely got better points on rooms. So Let's do points on rooms first. 1, 2, 5, 9, 13, 15, 26 for me. So what's that going to be? 68. And then for Marty, that's going to be 4, 7, 9, 10. Yeah, a fairly big difference there. I don't know if he's going to make that up. Points on colonist cards. That is going to be 3, 6, 9, 14, 16, 18 for me. So 86. And then for Marty, 6, 7, 10, 13, 14. And this one's worth 12, isn't it? So 26. There you go, 7 more than me there. 20, what did I say? 26. So that's 77. Points on successful bribes. So for Marty, that's going to be 12, both successful. Uh, so let's, let's put him in the lead for a little bit. 89. Well, I think mine, so I need a nitrogen. Oh, three nitrogen, three food for that. And then two food for that. And that's going to be 11 points for me. So 97. And then leftover resources. It's a point for every two nitrogen, food, or scrap. That's one point for me there. A point per mag tape, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Marty's got three nitrogen left, which is one point, and a mag tape, which is another point. And so that is going to be the final score, I think. It is 91 to Marty, 101 to me. So my colony is going to get saved, but don't worry, I'm going to find help and come back for Marty. I'm that kind of guy. Anyway, I hope this gave you some idea of what it's like to play Arcosa and whether or not you would be interested in giving it a go. If you are, the Kickstarter page is linked in the description and you can head over there now and see all of the extra goodies that uh, are surely on the way and see all the final stuff. There's probably more alien art and stuff. If you'd like to know what I think of it, that video is uh, coming up on the screen shortly or it's in the description now as well. Thank you very much for watching though and I'll see you wherever you end up. Bye everyone.